Well, people coming to the Peterson Museum have an option to also visit the vault, which is our subterranean parking area where we store the cars that are not on public display. Like any other museum, we cannot possibly display all the artifacts we own. We own over 300 cars, and we have a, more than another 100 uh, on loan to us. So we have quite a treasure trove, but we wanted people to be able to see those too. Every single thing here opens with latchless open. These are all poppers. Left the factory with a hood line. There is no <laughs> line there anymore. That is all one piece. So by the time the car was on We have all different kinds of cars. We have turn of the 20th century brass era cars. We have classic cars. We have 1950s cars, American cars. We have chrome era. We have sports cars, racing cars, open wheel racing cars, uh, closed wheel racing cars. Uh, we have um, French cars, Italian cars, exotic cars, uh, economy cars, you name it. We, we have the gamut. The, the vault is a time machine. This is a hundred years of automotive design and history in, in just a few steps. So you've got, you know, you're, going, you're watching the automobile evolve through time, which is pretty surreal to see. And, and there's a really great diversity of stuff as well. I mean, you, every tangent of, of automotive culture is, is pretty well represented. So, you, you know, it's, it's like someone took their toy chest full of model cars and just emptied it on the floor. So, it's, you know, it, where else are you going to find a Formula One car, low rider, and the Shavi Rons Bugatti in, in one place. So if you wanted to see these cars at an event, uh, it would take a couple lifetimes to get them all. So seeing them all in one place is, is definitely a must uh, see if you're even remotely interested in, in cars. There's a lot about the Peterson Museum vault that's appealing, and I think part of it is being able to go to the vault, which is kind of a hidden place. Not everybody gets to come down here. It's, it's, it's kind of a special place. And what you'll see, you'll see a lot of things that the general public just does not get to see. And you'll, you know, you'll honestly be able to help round out your historical knowledge of the vehicles and, and what's important based on, based on our mission to explore and preserve automobile culture.